you have to react to what players have to do right now with your points as well it changes your game unknown is at 18th place with 106 so far so he's going to be playing a little bit aggressive oh my goodness it's a fast start equals a strong finish and his start is super super fast with speed He's going to get a nice opportunity to get a nice four point here. Like I said, looking for the chest to chest fight as Furious does pick up an E limb. Furious who's doing really well out there. And Flex is doing really solid. Gets a couple of tags, but goes down to the spray from Tuxi and gets the Ninja Pond action, the iconic dance. In a matter of moments, Knight's going to come down to this level and is going to be a big welcome with a hit. White hits from Kanata, and it's a matter of moments. Can Knight survive right now? He's going to go all the way up. Now it's a build fight. No doubt Mega's shots from the distance could be a factor in this as well. And Knight gets eliminated from Kanata. And Kanata's looking really solid right here in this match. Shio going to try to make that comeback from that early elim when he had in that other match. To break stride straight through to the top of the leaderboard, this is your chance. I'm thinking about Kanata more so than anyone else at the moment. Still alive. It's very hard for him to get these games and shots off. And oh my god, I was praying that was not him. Because this happens every time. It's Frisk who gets taken out. But this box is very close to where Kanata could be and is. He finally uses one of his own launch pads, I believe, to get the track all the way through. The zone being uphill means he needed to implement all those mats down on the ground. But he might find a box right here. Yes, here it he is. does. It's off the stove. And now he has a full 150 effective HP. Very good overall, though. Actually, a full 200. I missed that big pot in his inventory. He'll be able to have everything set in sights for him. He has med kits now for those moving zone end games that he can use a little bit earlier. That being said, one big mechanic is now in this game, possibly, depending on the lobby size storm surge we're gonna have to wait for about 30 people once that seventh zone i believe closes in to be staying alive it's 39 in total right now it could be a thing that pops up afterwards i feel like with two eliminations kanada is absolutely fine but kanada is the person we should be paying attention to nevertheless because this is 100 his game he has every tool he has mobility he has position it's just about how he's gonna use it and not staying alive in the feed was Bizzle. Bizzle going down at you know, sixth place before walking into this match. So now a lot of the players available to kind of move up here. And Shio, you called it. Now it's Kanata's time to rise up the ranks. And he could definitely do that considering the loadout that he has. The circle is going to move. So he's, he's just right on the front side of this. So he has plenty of options on how to take this. I think right now he's going to try to look for some E limbs. As you've seen, he's scouting out, looking up, opening up windows, looking for fresh builds, trying to get the tags that he needs. And he might, the only thing is he can't stay here too long. But Kanata knows exactly what he needs to do. He usually likes to rotate, gets a big time hit. Kanata using the pad here to kind of get in here. We last time we saw Nate in the air, he got eliminated. Will that happen to Kanata? And it does. Kanata eliminated Tragic. while taking that air rotation Shio absolute tragedy but that just makes it so much easier for everyone else from top 20 to 30 to move on now we have a big super view of the whole game it's scope we're focusing into now 30 players so surge doesn't matter he starts to move forward has a huge tarp ahead of him but he's not gonna have time to pop that med kit he's not gonna have the position to either very good use of that harpoon can easily break builds still moves forward he's fighting for position first and eliminations second Scope low on Bills and Scope gets that big time. No doubt his partner Tifu is, is Scope is on the stage and his partner Tifu is happy as Scope is doing what he does best with the golden loadouts here, the power weapons. And now he's going to have the opportunity to be very aggressive, get himself inside of boxes. If he sees a metal build that's freshly built, he's going to go right in. It doesn't matter. And he's going in right now. Gets Doxy with another one. He is catching fire at the right time with 109 points. He's going to get him closer and closer to the top of the top scope is on fire shy yo there's still 19 people left and he's moving forward at breakneck speeds floppers available but running slow and out it's frat mega assault weigel everyone's still lost in the storm kaz versus saf down low but one of his friends stretches here now to control things in the safe zone 14 people still left half of them non-existent towards the front side stretch realizes this free rotates no builds all the way forward does get to have a little bit of a rehash of some of his materials the wood now in his inventory but he has to watch out for what happens next he's dropping 
jumping into zone to find a grappler here, Sancho, and he could use it to take away all the way towards Height. Here's the first shot. The second follows through. He gets position. Where's Height gonna come in next? Not anytime soon. It's the heal first. The mats are there. The beam second. Now let's win the game for the three time. Feared taken out by AV. Ghoul taken out by Stretch. Now he looks all the way to the top and it's empty. It's Stretch's domain. He claims it. Now he has the entire space and the say on the whole server. From the bottom of the top, Scope gets taken out. It's Jacked and AV who are trying to survive, but Stretch is the king at the moment. Could he own the castle after this game? 120 points. He's breaking for top 10. He's breaking shields onto Jack. Edits all around him. He has the mats to build. He's playing with emotions a little bit. He's looking for the next shot. Is it there? Is it going to be close? Position is going to be prime right now. Waiting, watching, building. The grappler now not going to be the biggest thing available. He's looking to end it. And he drops down. It's Jack on top of a hill who gets taken out. And Stretch now, who's on top of the world, waiting for those standings to show up. More effective HP here. And ooh, I really don't think you invest the big pot. I think you have to win the fight and disengage. As Azure says, well, you're coming down either way. As Scoped does get dropped, will finish the big pot. But he falls almost all the way down, going down to 45 HP. Will catch himself off. And this is going to get real awkward real quick as Azure is continuing to try and put pressure on him. Severe does go down. Azure still trying to pressure into the box. Splode comes out. Not quite going to find it. So really good defense being played from Scope. He's like, all right, give me a second. We can fight. But he is now completely out of builds, Halsey. He's got no builds, one big pot. Don't know if he's going to get them off. He's got to play this well. I mean, this is going to be a situation where I think even if Scope somehow miraculously wins this, has a bit of a knock here as Aegis still on the high ground. Scope sitting down here, just windling away. 31, 29, it's a single tick storm. Even if he wins this, I can't see him coming back from this too well. No, Aegis can't find him. Jumps down too aggressively and Scope is taken out. Aegis walking away with the two eliminations. And just like that, we see someone who's on 140 points going down to someone on 42. And Aegis has turned the tide of this tournament now. Scope's run in game 11 is over. Can Unknown picks up Shaz. First player rotates out Zate, seeing if there's a pop there as we catch up a little bit. Frat picks up Spicy. Neon goes down. Neon goes down outside of the top no. 40. Anybody can swing back up as Zate picks up a huge elimination there and another stack of floppers. He's saying, nope, we're playing in the storm and I'm getting some sushi. Storm going down there as Zate is going to have plenty of time here to just kind of wait it out and get his choice. There is somebody else hawking him, trying to figure out exactly how many floppers he has to play oh. with right now as he will now hit oh. the launch pad and come through. AR shots around come the side. Zate hugging the walls, he trying to find it. a little bit of space, and he lands in right next to Booga, underneath clicks and young Calc for the best veteran players in NA East, all stacked up in the middle of the zone here. And Furious is in this one as well. So we have a few players in the top five and Zayt just makes it in. Absolutely beautiful cinematic shot. We got the follow him behind the shoulder, watching him fly in for that one. He just makes it, but the sushi has run out. He's gone through all his fish, still has some minis, still has that legendary pump, more than enough for someone of Zayt's caliber to work with, but he's going to have to make it big. As Zone goes back south, eventually hits a bit of the water, but it still does stay on land. So unless it goes further south again, these players might not be having to deal with one of the more difficult zones that can happen. But with this caliber of players, 30, seven alive game 11 the second last game to crown a solo fncs champion this is the best of the best it doesn't matter difficult zone easy zone it is not going to be easy to close this one out as we hear the launch pads going off zayt just survived his last experience in the launch pad maybe thinking better of it just wanting to rotate along this edge but getting beamed up this is going to be his last mess he's down to nothing 53 builds and plays inside his box pulls the pump out but he goes down gets taken out by avery commandment still in here just falls shy of that 30 as jack is on the high ground Kanata is still in this, Bizzle is still in this, Furious is still in this. We've got so many players up there who can still take out and jump up in a first. And now you see Roller on the front side of the zone, fired, shooting back across it. We're going to hop on board here with Furious, a player who was in fourth going into this match as he picks up another elimination there. Zum going down. He is on the low ground, which means action is going to be happening all around him. You can see him desperately trying to make sure that Heavy Sniper is reloaded for a push. Has a solid amount of mats here going into the end game as Hornet drops Bizzle just inside of the top 20. Furious making sure everything is reloaded. 66 mats, huge one pump onto Av as he's dropping around the side. Does need to make sure he covers Ooh, himself there. Furious. 7 HP, Flopper goes off just in time. 37 HP, he has three more. Does he go for the shot of the Flopper? Will eat another one as the player. Across from Kanata's him is going getting the back up with the zone. You see Calc down to Booga in the zone. Furious on the backside, you lost Ooh. track of him. Freist, you knew he was there as Furious picks up its fourth elimination. And now he's running through on the tarp. Has plenty of mats again. We talk about it as we're moving back 
over the swamps in the water. You want these materials. Comment on going down in 11th as we close in on the top 10, but it's all on Furious. It is. Furious has jumped ahead of this one. Kanata went down in the feed, which means this is Furious' chance to jump up. We've lost all those players in the top five. I believe it is just down to Furious now to try and close this one out. SF Rollo had a crazy run yesterday. As Furious gets this lucky, he might break the 200 points here. 192 points. Five players alive. Has the loadout to finish this one out. Has no builds left. Has to drop down. Goes toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and we know how good Furious is. Toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Takes down Spark. This is a sixth elimination run here. There's only three opponents to deal with. Two opponents to deal with. Furious gets the mat refreshed now it's a 1v1v1 he's losing out on his match though he's being sprayed from high ground and low ground he's getting focused only has the one flopper needs to close this one out sf roll in front of him furious versus roller first and second from the reboot round the two reboot stories they almost come through furious goes down seconds but 210 points furious had a massive performance on 210 points the biggest lead we've seen pretty much anyone have in first place out of na east and on top of yeah, that, I mean, Jock jumps up from 11th. I mean, Kanata's holding fourth, Zayden fifth. 